Asset forfeiture and seizure law is one of the most controversial topics that we're dealing with nowadays. I get a lot of questions about when can the government actually seize and forfeit my property. The, the simple answer is whenever you have been accused of a qualifying crime. The biggest one that, that stands out to me are going to be drug related crime, right? This includes possession, possession for sales, distribution, manufacturing. Not only if the actual contraband is actually seized, but any instruments, instrumentalities used in the manufacturing, sales, and distribution of these contraband materials, as well as anything that you've purchased as a result of profiting from these endeavors. You also have the white collar crimes, which include embezzlement, securities fraud, structuring, all crimes that have to do with a breach of fiduciary duty. Crimes like that. And just like the drug crimes, the, the feds or possibly even state authorities are going to try to trace your proceeds from those crimes into property that they're now going to be seizing. Now, just the accusation by itself isn't enough for a seizure and later a forfeiture. To be seized, they actually have to do it pursuant to a warrant as with any other piece of property. So that means that they have to have probable cause that this property has been used in a criminal manner or is a fruit of a criminal manner. To issue a warrant, once the judge sees this affidavit from a prosecution agency, they have the authority to either grant it or deny it. If they grant it, the warrant is issued and then the authorities can come and actually seize the property. In addition to the warrant requirement for a seizure, there's also various exceptions to that requirement. One of the exceptions, at least for the federal government, is when a local agency seizes the property and then it then gets transferred over to the federal government. 